How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. And if you're new to the channel or haven't been around for more than a year, you probably re might remember that uh, I like to do a year review of my channel of every time, you know, we, we reach a new mark of, uh, you know, the channel being in existence, uploading videos and all that good stuff. So I kind of wanted to give you uh, some highlights, maybe a little bit of low lights in there. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, you know, just kind of look at the channel as a whole and see how things have gone over the year. Uh, I got some Halo gameplay playing in the background because I'm working on a video for, uh, for Halo. But anyways, though... Uh, so, well, one thing I definitely want to talk about are the most viewed videos on the channel because, you know, obviously that's what we base all of our liking on when it comes to doing anything on YouTube is, you know, how, how many views did you get? How many people, how many people saw it? Well, so I gave you guys my top five list right here of my most viewed videos on the channel for this year. Now, they uh, might have been also, I think last year, some of these might have been in the same list as well, but these videos got me the most views in, you know, 2017. And so let's start off with that right there. So number one, actually, let's start off. Let's start off with uh, number five. Mo fifth most viewed video on the channel is my uh, video on how to get the uh, strum weapon using uh, the adventure in Destiny 2 to get the, the keys that you need and all that good stuff. So nice little tutorial video there. It's like, that's one thing I like to try at least on this channel is to like, give some sense of knowledge to players. If I know something that I think maybe some people don't know, I'd like to at least try to get that out to the public so they get the chance to know it. And so I thought this video would be super quick, easy, and it actually was very helpful. And a lot of people seem to really enjoy the video, and that's why I kind of keep on doing any different uh, kind of Destiny 2 tutorial informational videos, because you know, people seem to like it. Number four on the list is my uh, video, which I actually kind of screwed up on on the commentary, but the, the rule's still there, though, but it's a uh, press right trigger for a machine gun when trying to finish uh, Halo 4 in the campaign because for some reason the Master Chief Collection when you play Halo 4 you get to the last mission and when you play, plant the splinter grenade into the Didex chest it says press right trigger to fire machine gun and you're like oh, maybe I just maybe they just labeled it wrong press right trigger no it doesn't work that doesn't work apparently you just have to use a regular old grenade button but still like it's just kind of odd that a simple UI you know PNG file like that gets messed up but yeah, man, that was the MCC. So, like, a lot of people, I'm sure, like me, were kind of confused, going, like, wait, okay, I'm pressing all these buttons. How do I get this thing to work? So I made a video on it, and, you know, it got decent, has a decent amount of views on it. I think right now it's sitting at just below 12,000 views. Number three on the list here is my review video, right? Yeah, my, number three is my review of the uh, Future Safe Sword in Destiny 2. Now this will probably, and this video is still gaining views because it's still very, rather current, so I have a feeling this will probably be number two by, you know, probably the end of next month. But hey, today's the last day of the year, so, you know, these are where the views and this is how they stand right now. But there was huge uh, reception on that video. I mean, I was the first person on YouTube, I think, or one of the, one of the first to get a good, good review on this sword. Uh, right now it's sitting just about below 6,000 views, which is awesome. And uh, I really do appreciate all the uh, response in that video. And uh, it you know, keeps me motivated to keep on bringing out some more content for you guys. And second most viewed video of the year is my, basically my rant on the 17 minute gameplay for Mass Effect Andromeda that came out in March. Uh, that video got a good, really good reception as well. Uh, basically it was, um, when you when your first time you get a chance to see Mass Effect Andromeda's uh, gameplay, uh, some storytelling, its acting and facial recognition, facial animations, and all of that good stuff, and uh, on IGN they had the first video, and you know a lot of people weren't too big on it. You know, it was like people were like this is kind of concerning, and their concerns were rightly so because that game was very subpar. Uh, for a Mass Effect game, at least. I was really excited for the game. I was really excited to get into it and make some content on it because there really isn't that big of a presence of Mass Effect on YouTube, so I thought I'd have a chance to really kind of grow and, uh, you know, and more views, more subs, and more interaction with everybody who watches videos and stuff. But with Mass Effect Andromeda just being a complete dud and dead on release, really, uh, yeah, that game was a big letdown. I even made it. I even made an extra channel. That's right. I made a channel called Mass Effect Prime where I started making Mass Effect videos on there. 
in, in preparation for uh, Andromeda, and then uh, yeah, just Andromeda happened, and it wasn't exactly what uh, we we're all hoping for. So I still need to finish that game too. I mean, if you guys want to see it, you know, I'll definitely look into streaming it for sure because I have it on the Xbox One. But yeah, that was a uh, that was a video just me kind of talking about my concerns, basically me kind of doing my thing of being like, you know, hey, don't go too crazy on this, you know, this is only a preview kind of thing, but also giving my giving my concerns about how it was really just nothing new was happening with the game. Uh, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about Mass Effect right there, and uh, even went a little bit of rant there. But my most viewed video of the year is how to get banned in Halo 5. And I believe it's actually my most popular video on the channel, uh, sitting right around 50,000 views, I believe. I'm not totally sure, I can't quite remember. Maybe 50, maybe close to 60,000. Uh, that's just cool. Uh, <laughs> again, another informational video, and um, I'm surprised not a lot of people did it. You know, it was the news when the game came out, but you know, people gravitated towards this video, and it was great. You know, I really do appreciate everyone coming out and checking out the video. It's just awesome. I really do appreciate it. Uh, also, that's one of my most viewed videos. Now, as a channel as a whole this year, um, I decided to kind of go back right around uh, d June. I decided to kind of come back to my channel and treat that as like my full time place because before I was splitting up time between uh, this channel and Halo Zone. And I was really trying my best to divide out the work between the two channels, and I just feel like nothing was really getting done on either end. Uh, I was trying to make sure that this channel didn't become dead and inactive and completely kill it off while also trying to grow and expand Halo Zone, but uh, things were just not lining up right. I tried, I tried, I tried, and it just doesn't work. It wasn't really working out. So towards the end of June, I decided to kind of get back into this channel, you know, release content on a nearly daily basis now. I think I'm doing like five videos a week, three to five videos a week on this channel, where before I was kind of like one. And so trying to get more active on the channel keep people interested uh and so uh, i think it's been doing really well we've had a great surge in views especially towards this holiday season obviously since you know it being the holiday season you got new games you know that every year that happens but uh you can you can see on this graph i'll post up on the screen that there's like a general increase in views and uh, shares and all that good stuff right toward, towards when i got back and activated the channel that's all thanks to you all you viewers out there all you subscribers uh, it's, I wouldn't be doing this if you weren't here helping me out, making this more fun, really. <laughs> and uh, this is a really great hobby. I really do enjoy uh, interacting with everybody here, uh, especially on that live streams. I've started live streaming here on YouTube, and it's actually been really good. Probably the most active live streams I've had on a uh, on on gaming in general. I tried doing the Twitch thing, but Twitch is just so saturated right now with uh, players that. Yes, it is the number one place to go to if you want to get, you know, really big on Twitch uh, for streaming. But the market is so saturated, it's hard to get noticed. And here on YouTube, it's popular enough to where people can see it. And you also show up in the search engine as well when it comes to YouTube streaming. So I kind of stick with that. Plus, I made a, you know, I built an audience here on YouTube. And so why would I want them to leave the format that they like to watch me on, you know? So uh, the YouTube streams have been excellent. Oh my God, I died right there. That's, uh, So the YouTube streams here have been awesome. Uh, everyone coming out, I really do appreciate everyone coming out to the stream. Uh, Karate Girl, you've been the best moderator a person, a player could uh, ask for. <laughs> Congratulations on getting gold as well. We'll probably see you in some Halo streams here rather soon as well. And um, you know, thanks a lot for all you viewers out there. Uh, I, if I was gonna list everybody, this video would probably be an hour long. <laughs> But uh, that was great. Uh, also, we had uh, I tried setting up a uh, an event for uh, Halo 3 coming backwards, com becoming backwards compatible, and also a 10 year anniversary and all that stuff with the hashtag H3GN Halo 3 Game Night. And I tried to get as many people, subscribers, and YouTubers involved with this, and uh, we ended up getting some people from Halo Collective. We had we had got a chance to game with uh, Luke the Notable, which was cool. And uh, Lagundo showed up as well, which was really great. And um, great, great content creators. If you guys don't know those guys, check them out. Link in the description as well. And so that was really cool to get a chance to play with some uh, people I like to watch. Personal people I personally enjoy watching their content. And um, you know, it was just 
it was a really fun experience. I really, really did enjoy the uh, the Halo 3 stream. Uh, we'd like to try to see if we can do something else again with uh, some more community members and try to get like a stream thing going. We're all gaming together, and then our game night would just be really fun. I really, I would really enjoy that. And so, and then uh, that's about it uh, right now for the you know the year in review. Oh, I forgot to mention my first video I posted of 2017. How can I forget? Uh, so you might think it might probably be like a tutorial video or some informational kind of thing, news video, kind of like what I've been doing. Turns out, I look back, my first video of the year was uh, a Halo 5 video, but it was a Forge map where they forged the like entire first half of the song uh, All Star by Smash Mouth on a piano. So I titled the video Smash Mouth All Star, but when played on piano in Halo 5. Didn't really get a whole lot of views, but I just thought it was funny, so I thought I'd share it with people, just because I was like, who spends time in Forge that makes Smash Mouth All-Star? <laughs> it was just ridiculous, man. Also, I can't forget, I actually took a four, my first, first steps into making Machinima videos, which is actually one of the first things that got me into watching video games on the internet, which is rather surprising for some of you, I'm sure, but, uh, yeah, made what four different Machinima videos this year. Uh, first one was with uh, Master Chief Intervention, and then the Fast and By Curious, and the tri uh, movie trailer parody, and then uh, the Bill Nye the Science Guy parody of uh, Master Chief the Science Chief, which I'm sure we, some of you probably do know. And then recently, I did make the Little Finger Can't Keep a Secret Machinima because. Uh, I was watching a lot of Game of Thrones, and I just thought of a funny thing of just being like a ridiculous caricature of Littlefinger. And uh, there's been pretty good reception on that. I definitely will be making some more in the future as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, that's one, actually one like when I first made that Master Chief's uh, intervention video. It was like uh, like a, almost like a life goal achieved kind of thing, where it was like, finally... I got to do this, like I used to be a huge fan of Red vs. Blue, and so being able to make some kind of content similar to that, kind of fulfilling like a childhood-ish kind of dream, if that's kind of weird, but yeah, for me, I you know enjoy video games and cinema, and so combining the two, it just sounds, well, pretty freaking awesome, and uh, yeah, you know, I really do appreciate the feedback on those videos as well. It's been great, and I will definitely will be keeping up with that. I'll definitely try to want to at least do maybe like one a month at something around that range. Uh, they do take a lot of work. Uh, then you know, got to write, act, edit, and uh, vo and at voice act as well. But um, I would like to try to get the, those a little to more, a little more commonplace on this channel rather than just being like a one-off every three months or something like that. Uh, so I'd like to try to keep that a little bit more regular in the content, but yeah, so I made my first Machinima video. That was pretty freaking cool. Continuing on forward, we'll have some more live streams, kind of get back into the schedule. I'll probably do that every Sunday. It's kind of what's been working out for me and my schedule. And so we could be more consistent with that. We'll be giving you some more videos on Destiny 2 and Halo 5 as the news comes around. You know, we obviously have that new, uh, Halo 5 HDS MLG awesomeness coming our way, so I'll definitely do some, uh, I'll follow that information so you guys can keep on top of that if you guys would like to know more. And uh, just thank you so much for everybody who watches the my videos. It's it's what keeps me coming back every time. It's, it's a joy doing this as a hobby. It's a lot of fun. And uh, just can't wait to keep on going for 2018. 2018, man. I started this channel back in 2010. It's going to be seven years starting in February because I got my uh, recorder back when I used to do Black Ops 1 videos for my birthday back in 2010. So <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on this channel and uh, looking forward to do keeping doing more, like I said. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your support throughout this year and continuing on. I hope you all enjoy uh, the future content and, uh, you know, have a great 2018. So have a great uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Stay safe. Don't drink too much, uh, which I, I'm sure plenty of people have issues with doing. <laughs> I certainly had back in my day. <laughs> but, um, you know, be safe. Have fun. You know, enjoy the new year coming in. And uh, always more games to play. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. 
Let's hope 2018 is, is as good, if not even better, than 2017. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.